Good day, everybody. Welcome to today's video. Today's video, we're going to look at the All Powers 100 watt solar panel and the S700 portable power station. <clears throat> you can see the specs at the back right there. Something like this is perfect for taking out camping if you're going to run a cooler, charge some batteries and stuff. So let's get the unboxing here. Instructions are on the top. You got those two little finger holes. Put your finger in there to pull the styrofoam out. And then you got another box to your left there. And that has all your electrical cables and then the main power stations and the rest of the styrofoam. Very well packaged. So it could take a little bit of beating during shipping. You won't have to worry about it being damaged. So that's the unit right there. Two AC ports, all your buttons in the front, three USBs and one type C, another input, and then you got your two charge ports and a DC output. It does not come charged, so you will have to charge it up before you use it. Now let's take it out camping. The 100 watt solar panel works very good. I can usually get about 75, 80 watts out of it. My only issue I have with it is that the cables are too short. So far with the 100 watt all power panel. And I got the little small unit here. We're at full charge. 49 watts coming in, running this cooler. We're keeping up nice, keeping up nice. Overnight, 91%. The power bank works amazing. So now I got the cooler running, the drone battery charging, and I've already dropped 9%. I'm using 88 watts, 3 hours and 41 minutes left. You gotta think about it. I believe this is like a 700 watt unit. I'm using 88 watts right now. It's calculating how much time using that wattage before this battery pack drains. Some of the features, just in case, if you want to use it and you have some issues. So the DC button is just a quick press on or off. If you long press it, it won't work. The AC is a long press and then a long press to turn it off. You got two... AC ports up there, 700 watts. There's not a whole lot you're going to run off that. You could probably run your CPAP machine and some other things that are small. But for a DC power bank, this is amazing. Like I said before, you got your USB ports, your other charge inputs, and one DC output. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you have any questions or comments, post them below. Otherwise, I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care.